in this postman session we are going to talk about the postman cli now this was introduced in the later versions of postman and previously we used to have the postman newman which is still there but now postman has come with its own cli and we can use it instead of newman which is more of a third party so let's see what it is and how we can run our collections using this postman cli which is a command line tool so the postman cli as i said is secured and supported by postman compared to newman which is more of an open source tool now using this postman cli we can run a collection with the collection id or path we can send all the results to postman by default we can also log in and log out into the postman cli and we can also check api definitions now if we want to compare the postman cli and newman so both are owned by postman but postman cli is maintained and supported by postman while newman is open source and is mostly supported by the community so that's the main difference also uh, in terms of uh, the package so postman cli is distributed as a downloadable package but newman is uh, distributed on npm so when you download it uh, you will see the difference uh, also newman is available as a library while postman cli is not available as a library um, and newman doesn't support login and logout postman cli you can do that so these are the differences um, although not much but still um, you can decide which a uh, particular tool you want to use for running your collections on the command line you can either use newman or you can um, use the postman cli now coming to uh, the installation of postman cli so it can be installed on any operating system you can go to the postman documentation and you can find all these commands uh, through which you can install it it's a powershell uh, command for a uh, windows uh, installation and similarly for a uh, mac and linux uh, those are curl commands so you can find them uh, um, on the postman documentation but uh, let's go ahead and install it uh, on a windows uh, and let's see how we can install that okay so i'm going to start my command line and from there i will uh, try to execute this uh, as you can see this is uh, the whole command uh, we don't need to understand it. Um, it, was, it is going to download uh, an install script and then run it. Um, and the install script will basically uh, create a directory in the Windows apps if it doesn't exist and then install the Postman binary there, right? Um, so let's go ahead and execute this now. So once uh, Postman CLI is installed, you will get the message uh, it has been installed, okay? So after that, uh, what you can do on the same command line tool, um, you can execute some Postman commands to check whether it has been actually installed or not. Uh, one command you can use is Postman-V, uh, which will give you the version of the Postman CLI. Or you can also use uh, the Postman um, help command uh, which will give you the list of um, all the commands uh, which you can use using this postman cli so as you can see uh, the main commands are for running a collection uh, you can test your apis you can log in and you can log out right so these are uh, the commands which are available with the postman cli now coming to the main functionality which is to run a postman collection uh, on the command line tool so for this um, i'm going to use one of my collection which is uh, github i have got the whole flow of creating a repository uh, getting the created repository update repository and delete repository okay so we are going to run this particular collection uh, in our command line tool and for that we would require either um, the file um, from the folder or uh, we can run it using the collection ID okay so for getting the collection ID 
uh, click on the collection and then on the uh, right hand side you will see there is an info button uh, click on that and that should give you the collection details and there you will find the collection id right so this is probably the uh, most easier and uh, most convenient way of running a particular collection uh, you can get the collection id and then uh, you can uh, go to your command line tool and with the help of the command you can go ahead and run your particular collection okay so the command is postman collection and then run okay and then um, we will pass the id here so let's go ahead and run this but as you can see uh, we cannot run the postman collection command here uh, without any authorization so we need to use the postman login to login uh, into the cli uh, using an api key uh, which i'm going to show you how you can get it and then um, we can run our collection so let's go ahead and log in into this postman cli but first let's grab um, our api keys for our account okay so for that uh, go to your postman desktop uh, if you are using that and uh, go to your uh, main account right and there uh, you will find uh, something called settings so click on that uh, it will take you to the web interface where uh, you will get the settings for your account and that should contain uh, the api keys okay so once uh, you are in your settings account uh, there you will find the last option called api keys and here if you have not created an api key then you need to generate an api key so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to name it first okay and then i'm going to copy to clipboard so that's my api key um, it has been generated here okay and it's going to uh, get expired after whatever days of inactivity you have selected okay so i have saved it to 180 days of uh, inactivity so after that uh, these api keys will expire but i have now copied my api keys so let's go ahead and log in into our postman cli using this so we are going to use the postman login command and then uh, we are going to use with api key so that's the parameter and then the value here okay and hit enter and that should log in your um, account with that api key and you should get a message logged in successfully right now let's try again to run our collection and see whether it works this time or not But as you can see, um, our collection run failed this time as well. And if I look at the errors, I can make out that uh, it is missing either some parameters or some variables, right? So if, uh, so you are going to face this kind of issues uh, when you are running it from a command line, uh, if your collection is using any environment variables. So for, get, for my collection, I am using uh, some environment variables like URL token, uh, owner, right? So all of these variables are being used in my uh, Postman requests. And that is why this collection requires all these environment variables, right? Now, I need to make sure whenever I'm running a particular collection from a command line, uh, I need to pass this environment variables. Otherwise, uh, it's going to fail every time right you don't uh, need to do anything when you are running it from the tool itself uh, because it will use that particular selected environment uh, variables but when you are running it from a command line you need to specify it specifically okay so uh, to do that uh, let's look into our environment variables right so this is our environment variable and uh, when uh, you go into this uh, particular environment which um, i have created right uh, and click on info 
here you will get the environment details and I will require this uh, ID because I'm going to pass this environment uh, into uh, my particular collection so that it can use it. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. I've copied uh, the ID of that particular environment which is associated uh, with this particular collection, right? So um, let's go ahead and try to run this again this time around. I'm going to specify another parameter here which says um, uh, the environment, right? And I'm going to pass the UID here. Okay, so let's see if this runs. Um, and as you can see, now it has started running all the different uh, requests which are part of this collection. And you can see uh, the status is passed this time. You can see it in the report and you can see it in the logs as well. Right, so it is doing a post request that status code is 201 uh, validate repository name so that's my test so whatever tests i have given uh, like repository exists a repository is updated status code is 204 so all these tick marks you see um, are all the tests which i have written for uh, my particular requests right so it has been executed successfully and uh, it has passed Right. So if you face these issues while running your collection in a command line tool, you can follow the steps uh, which I have done. Right. Now, a few other parameters which you can use. Um, you can also pass the environment variables uh, if you want separately. But I think it's better to pass the environment itself, which contains all the variables. Right. Uh, the other thing which you can do. Uh, as you can see, this particular collection has run just one iteration, right? But uh, if you want to run multiple iterations of your collection on the command line, uh, you can use something called uh, the iteration parameter, okay? And uh, you can specify dash n and then the number of iterations you want to run this particular collection, okay? So I want to run it two times. So let's see if it works with this particular parameter. So as you can see, it has started uh, with iteration one by two, which means it is running the first iteration and then uh, it will run the second iteration. So uh, these are some of the useful parameters which uh, you can use while running your collection inside your uh, CLI. Obviously the next step could be to integrate uh, the CLI with CI CD so that you can directly run it from a CI CD tool like Jenkins and get the results there itself. Right. So that's what uh, we'll look um, in the next session.